Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to switch between internal and external cameras during the call. I'll be working with the 2N IP Verso, an Axis P3225-L VE Mark II network camera, and a Grandstream GXV3275 IP phone. First, I'm going to use the Axis IP utility to find the camera's IP address. Depending on the camera model, the default username and password may be root and pass. Otherwise, you may need to create a new password for the first instance. Go to Setup, Video, and Stream Profiles, where you can create a special profile for your intercom. Let's give the profile a name, for example, HIP. Video encoding should be set to MJPEG. Then you have to set resolution to the highest setting which the intercom can offer, which is currently 640 by 480 pixels. Don't forget to set a frame per second limit. I used 15 frames per second, which is recommended, though you could use less. You can also display overlays that show the Axis logo, date or time, but I'm not going to use that. On the MJPEG tab, there's maximum frame size, which might improve the video transmission speed. Let's limit it to 512 kilobytes and click OK. Now we can go into the Intercom's web interface. First of all, we have to go to Hardware, Camera and External Camera tab. Here we need to allow the external camera by entering the following RTSP address. The camera's default username and password is root and pass and local RTP port is 4700. Click save to activate the external camera stream. These values vary depending on camera, make and model, so please consult the respective camera's manual. Then we need to set up a simple automation that will tell the intercom to switch between internal and external cameras when a DTMF code is entered. For this tutorial's purpose, I'm going to create a really simple automation without any conditions. OK, let's call the ground stream. As you can see, it's displaying the internal camera by default. This can be changed on the camera common settings tab. So if I send the DTMF to find in the automation I've just created, it'll automatically switch to the other camera. Then I can go back and forth between both cameras by entering the respective DTMF code. You can also do this on our 2N indoor touch unit, but the process is a little different. Go to this FAQ to see how to do it there. Alright, that's it for this tutorial, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for your attention and I wish you a pleasant experience with 2N products.